Hello weirdlings, it's Margot bringing you a quick but spooky anonymous ghost story. If you're ready to get spooked and spine tingled, keep watching. When I was about 14, I was staying up way too late on the computer. It was about 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock in the morning and everyone else was asleep. I got thirsty and wandered down the hallway to get a drink. I didn't bother to turn on any lights since there was a nightlight in the hallway and that was enough light to get by. I was walking back to the bedroom when I got this weird feeling, like someone was watching me and I turned around. There was a big white mist just floating right behind me. I immediately turned back around and noped my way back into the safe bright room. The thing is, there were no windows facing that hallway and I hadn't passed the nightlight yet so it definitely wasn't a trick of the light. All the doors leading to the hallway were also closed. A few years later, when I moved to the room closest to that spot, I got the heebie-jeebies and couldn't sleep without a lamp on. It wasn't until some time later that I learned that in the 80s, a guy was renting the house. He was arrested under suspicion of the kidnappings, assaults, and disappearances of a bunch of kids in the area, and for the suspected murder of his wife. They never found her. According to him, she ran away. Cadaver dogs went over the farm but never found anything. The cops must not have done a thorough job though, because when we moved in, my mom found a pair of boys underwear in the toilet tank. The missing wife was never found, and he died in prison about a decade ago. I think her spirit is still there though.